And what about Shaq? How does how does his personality fit into there? I often say that Shaquille O'Neal was the best marriage of sports and entertainment in Los Angeles since Magic Johnson. Shaq was the second coming of Magic. He, he was just a big kid. And I think that's why he's still so successful today. He told me once, Brandon, that he had never spent a dime of his basketball salary income. He was strictly living off of his endorsements. And I'm pretty sure he is still that way. I don't think he's spending any of that TNT money. I think it's yeah. going right into the bank. He's just living off of all the endorsements that he does and all his outside interests. He realized at a young age that sports and entertainment go together. And I'm going to be able to marry myself to these two worlds. And yeah, I, I don't think he'll, he'll get mad at me for telling this story. But when Shaq used to try, I used to travel with the Lakers when Shaq was playing for us. And right. all those guys had aliases. So you couldn't call the hotel if you found out what hotel we were staying in. You couldn't call the hotel and say, hey, put me through to Shaquille O'Neal. He wouldn't be listed in the registry. But the name he would use back then, I hope he's not using it now or he's going to kill me. <laughs> but the, the name he was using back then was Enrico Gates. Like if you needed Shaq, and you, like if you had to pick up your phone in your hotel room and yeah. you needed Shaq, not that I was one that would ever call him, but if I did have to. Um, I would have to call and ask for Enrico Gates. And I asked him one day, I said, what's that about? And he said, Roger Enrico is the CEO of Pepsi and Bill Gates is the CEO of Microsoft. And those two guys are paying me a fortune. So that's my <laughs> salute to them and to remind me not to spend any of my basketball money. So he was Enrico Gates for the 10 years he traveled um, with us. And if you needed him, that's how you found him. <laughs> 